yeah. Let's do a quick little unboxing. What in the world? Oh, is this from AI? Hold up. What is going on here? Oh my gosh. Are these autographs from all of the AI people? Oh my god. It's an apron that says, okay, you know what? This is a family show. Nice prank, guys. Oh, Holly signed it. She's nice. All right, got one ready. Oh, this is different. Only one bolt. Oh. There it is. It's real. After seeing all the pictures and test mold pictures. Oh, man. Look at that. And we have something really special to show you when it comes to this hook slot. Oh. Y'all, I cannot wait. Okay, everybody. Welcome back to the world's worst fishing. I'm Chris Jones. So excited for this video today. New mold release. Launching a new mold. And uh, this is something that uh, AI have been, AI and I, wow, can't talk, have been um, throwing back and forth for a little while now. Um, this mold concept, I believe Josh came up with every once in a while, I'll come up with one. Um, but, but I believe this was like all him uh, talking about an open pour jerk bait and boom here it is finally so excited you know I got to see all of the like early drawings and a few uh, you know test mold pictures and you know really really dialing in some details on it so excited to have this mold in our hands cannot wait to show it to you uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a closer look and uh, this is a 4.9 inch open pour, two-piece aluminum. Why did I hold up four fingers? Two-piece aluminum, jerkbait mold. So excited, let's take a look, and then we're gonna pour up some good stuff. Okay, so here are the molds, and uh, I got them unboxed, as you saw at the beginning of the video, and um, I like to clamp, you know, as much as I can, um, particularly with hand pouring. I like to kind of line up my molds sort of sideways on my hot plate, and usually pour them from the heads. Um, so I like to take the hardware out, but gosh, they're still so clean. I have not made these dirty yet. Here it is. So awesome. Now, here's one feature that I wanted to show y'all um, that, again, you know, this was all Josh's idea because he, thro so throwing jerk baits, he likes some to have a hook slot that's you know really high up in the bait or really low in the bait and that allows you to have more material right more meat on the bones depending on how high up your hook slot goes so you can see this has actually two hook slot um, options here right we can put it there right which raises the hook slot insert up okay so now you can see um, the hook slot is going to go all the way up to here and you're going to be left with, you know, this much plastic right on the top of the bait. Or you can put it here, okay? And now look, now look at how much more bait, quote unquote, on, on the top that you have. Again, the, the specs on this thing, it's 4.9 inches long. So, that, so for reference, this plate that it comes in is a five inch plate. It's the exact same plate that the four inch open pour swim bait comes on, okay? You can see this one just fills it out um, lengthways. So there it is, a size comparison to the four inch open pour swim bait that we all know and love. Um, this is um, actually a little bit bigger bait than that, uh, definitely lengthwise. So you can see the way that we did the tail. Let's take a look real fast and then we gotta get the pour in here. The way that we did the tail was sort of a fan tail. It's not a split tail, right? It's, it's, it's a webbed tail, so to speak. And um, that was basically for pourability. Um, you know, if, if, if you look at a traditional split tail jerkbait, you, you know, those little tiny fringes, we just knew that that would be pretty difficult uh, to pour and not to mention actually pretty difficult to machine. And one of the things that we wanted to do was keep cost low. This mold is $39. And of course, we're gonna be using our dead-on plastics today. 
Okay, so dead on plastics is uh, the plastisol that we choose here on the World's Worst Fishing. And we're going to be playing with two different durometers, okay? I'm going to pour some of these in their black bucket swim bait blend. And then I'm also going to do a run of them in the tube blend. So I'll have like a medium and a medium hard blend uh, because I want to see sort of what durometer or plastic I think will work best for this bait. Uh, you know, because we are going to go test the action later on and let you see that. And then I'll kind of show the two different durometers and you know anyone that wants to pick this mold up they'll have a little bit better idea of which of uh what what sort of plastisol durometer that they should pour it in all right i love it when you get like brand new pyrex cups that are so clean because like you're you really get to see how clear your plastic is because <laughs> when your cup is old and grimy it just doesn't look as good so uh anyway um, so that is the uh, dead on swim bait blend and we're just going to start with um, sort of a, a more simple baby bass which I think will look really good in a jerk bait. Baby bass was always one of my favorite zoom fluke colors. So we're just going to add a little bit of white pearl to the bottom and um, if you watched a recent video I did where I was pouring a bunch of swim baits I, I think I did a baby bass in that one as well. So just some white pearl and a little bit of black flake and that's gonna be our bottom color. Okay, so um, basically we just wanna pour this sort of like a swim bait, um, but the, the way that the plastic's gonna flow, you know, that tail tapers up the whole way, okay? So it goes from deep all the way up. It's not like the swim bait tail to where the tail kind of levels out and then it can run down into the tail section, if that makes sense. We just wanna, again, pour it from the front and that, that hook slot insert is in the low position, so to speak. So I'm gonna pour this color just a little bit over it. Okay, keep going a little bit. And the hotter these molds are, obviously the more even and better your plastic will flow, okay? So that's what I'm thinking there for, for the bellies. And I've had these molds preheating now for a while, so they should be good and hot. I think really preheating the molds to almost full pouring temperature is gonna be key to pouring this mold. All right, so now we're gonna go for the baby bass uh, black vein, so Again, we're going to attempt to pour it like I would in a swim bait and try to stop the vein kind of near those eyes, sort of midway up in the head. So let's just try one. There's no way to know until you try one. Okay. So I know that head tapers fast. So I don't want to try and over pour it. We're gonna stop there. Oh yeah. I guess I could blow on it, but I think it's gonna stop where I need it to. Yeah, see see the way that that tail's filling itself in? What's good to know is that because of gravity, it's not gonna go too far. Like there's no drop down for it to spill into. All right, now for the test. So we just have some straight green pumpkin for the top. And I want to say that it might be easier to pour from the tail first into the body. Is, is that going to be out of focus? I want it to be in focus, you guys. Hold on. You know what? We're just going to pour it from the head. We're wasting time. Let's just, let's just do one. Here we go. Don't want to mess up our very first one on camera here. Kind of let it run back down into the body. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, we did it. Well, heck, I poured those cleaner than I pour my dang swim baits. Look at this. That is perfect. Okay. Hey, that just goes to show what you can do when you uh, take your time. <laughs> I should do that more often. 
Drum roll, please. Here we go. <clears throat> dun, 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 dun. Let's see what we get. Oh, okay. Look at that. That's actually perfect. Okay. Yeah, that's perfect. I think that looks really good. Nice little baby bass. So let's get it out. You see the top is absolutely flat as a flounder, no dipping. And part of that I think is because it's a thin layer on the top, but number, uh, but most importantly, we poured the mold very hot. So heat is the key to getting that nice flat top on an open pour. Yeah. So let's look at this eye real quick. Here's the way that he did the eye. The eye is recessed into the mold, right? Which means it actually sticks out a little bit on the bait. Let's see if we can uh, see if we can get in close here. Right. See how it's it's bumped out a little bit. You can actually still put an eye on that, and it's four millimeters. So let me show you what I'm thinking about for an eyeball. So that right there is what it would look like with an eye on, and you can see it sticks out just a little bit. So um, that kind of gives you the option to then clear dip the head if you want to seal the eye in um, after you clear dip, or, or excuse me, after you put it on. However, just some Loctite gel will hold that on. Now the reason why, if we look at the uh, four inch open pour here, if you look at the four inch open pour, you'll see that it has a pressed in eye socket, okay? which actually makes the eye recessed into the bait as opposed to on the outside right? That, like that. That actually sticks out the width of like three sheets of paper or a little bit less than that. So you can see this little punched in part here for the eye socket. The reason that he didn't want to do that is because uh, he wasn't going to be able to fit this size, this six millimeter into that head. Well, there again, it will fit, but it looked way too big. It kind of looked stupid. So in order to keep costs down, there again, this mold is only $39. Instead of trying to do this with a tiny little four millimeter insert, he just basically milled out a hole, which allows you to hand pour in the eyeball, just like a shad dot, but you can also still glue an eye on. Hey, look at that. Just some little, um, just four millimeter, just kind of 3D hard eyes there. And, and again, I'm not worried about those falling off. Yes, they might fall off after a lot of use, but you know, generally with a soft plastic bait, you know, the bait would tear before the eye is gonna pull off. And you know, those are locked tight, gelled on there, which means to remove that eye, you would actually be pulling plastic with it. So they're basically cemented on. That's how I do all my swim baits. And you know, I don't, um, I don't uh, clear dip those. <clears throat> so yeah, super cool. Again, that's the shallow slot version right there. Okay, so now we have the molds opened up as you can see here on the table. And we're gonna make a shad color and I want to pour a jet black eyeball, okay? So you can see we have that little eyeball there. And basically, we're just gonna do this like a shad dot. Just like we would on our swim baits, for example. Okay. Just like that. All right, let me uh, move it over here. Clean up that top little part there. And what's cool is that because there's a little indention, okay? Because that's actually recessed into the mold, you actually have like a little area to pour in that will kind of help you control where that plastic goes. Man, I got that one perfect. I need to uh, try to get them all like that. But regardless, we are done. All of the eyes are now poured in. And uh, now we're just gonna set them on the hot plate. And uh, we're gonna throw it back to one of my favorite shad colors. I like to call this one Emerald Shad. Man, this plastic is looking like absolute liquid glass today. That is liquid glass. Okay, so the bottom is gonna be ZGA. This is a dip your car uh, color shift powder right here So I do have an affiliate program with dip your car so that you can get some of these great pigments 
same with what's going to be the top color. That's a hyper shift right there. CTF. My affiliate link's in the description below if you want to check them out. And uh, we don't want a whole lot of this. We want to use that clarity to our benefit. That's pretty cool right there. You can see all the eyeballs, the eyeball dots lined up. So I'm just going to show you one of these. Then we will keep rolling. Okay. I think that's about right. It's about where I poured uh, the ones before. Man, I am so excited to see these. This is just a little bit of uh, Lure Works Emerald. Just regular emerald green. Here we go. Oh man, this thing pours so easy. I'm really, really benefiting from the width of the top. It's probably actually a wider top than even the five inch open pour. Yeah, it's it's about right there. So that just kind of shows you that you do have plenty of room to pour in this thing. And uh, so far, that's working out pretty nice. Okay, you guys are not gonna believe this. Look at this mistake that I made. Let me show you. That little overpour ruined a perfect, perfect, perfect pour. However, look at how cool that, uh, that's the ZTF right there. Oops, on top, yeah. Beautiful little hyper shift. Really, really, really awesome. So really looking forward to seeing those. I think they're gonna look good with that black eye. And then after this, we're gonna skin pour some and that'll be it. So we'll kind of show you the baby bass, a shad, and then some crazy skin pours, and then we're gonna go throw these things in the water. Okay, here we go with the emerald shad. Best part is the eyeball's already in there. Oh, it came out on that. Oh my gosh. Look at this. Look at that. Let's uh, zoom in a bit. See? That eye almost looks like it's an actual eye attached on there. Similar to like the injection eyeball mold um, that makes a soft plastisol eye. You're basically doing that, but you're just pouring it into that little four millimeter hole. Oh my God. That is just too good. That is absolutely too cool. Oh man. I don't think I can top this one today. <laughs> that might be the uh, the best thing that, that we do in this video. But we're going to try. Because I, I do want to show you some skin pouring. So, wowzers. Alright, we're going to get the rest of these out and then move on. There it is. Oh, That's a statement color. I love it. I need to make this more often. Look at that hyper shift. Gosh, you can see how well just hand pouring the little eyeball dot looks. You would never know that that wasn't an actual little black eye there. That is a black eyeball all day. Wow. Sweet. Okay, let's see if we can pour a perch because I know that perch always looks good and I've never seen a hand poured, well skin poured, perch jerkbait before. So let's just see what we can do here. I'm gonna pour it basically how I pour um, you know my swim baits. We're just dealing with something that's a bit shallower if that makes sense. And I wonder if I need more saturation but we're just gonna go with it. Okay, so far so good. All right, so you can see I got some orange down. So what's actually cool is that because there's sort of this bar on the bottom, it kind of makes pouring this a little simpler than if I was doing this on the uh, swim bait mold. And because I said that, I'm sure I'll mess this up. But yeah, we're just kind of getting some orange down into the head and the bottom of the body there. Yeah, just kind of letting it fill in, right? 
All right, and now we're basically just gonna fill it in with yellow. This is sort of like a yellow mixed with some uh, brown. Just kind of filling in those spots. All right, some happy perch, and we will meet y'all back whenever these are done. We're just going to pour a uh, white pearl belly and then sort of a really dark charcoal gray top. Um, very similar to how I would pour this in the swim bait, um, but I did leave out one color just for time. But I think these are going to be super sexy. All right, and there it is, some perch. Some open pour yellow perch. Not half bad. I didn't get them super clean on the top. So I think I can do better next time. But that's not bad for my first time skin pouring this thing. Pretty cool how it looks in there. So yeah, I love that little scaling pattern there. Yeah, so yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely possible. And that was one of the things I was excited about with this mold is the fact that uh, it's two-piece, you know, you can open it up, of course, and play around. So, yeah, I think that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Ah, I can't get that shut. All right, so these are actually poured and craw tube blend. Um, so these will be a little bit firmer than what we've done. However, I wanted to show y'all what just a plain Jane solid color looks like, right? So let's say you wanted to pour a bunch of these um, to take them fishing and you didn't want them to be fancy. Here's what it would look like. So you can see the little eye there, you know, just, and this is just solid white pearl. Well, it's not laundry noise, but today we have landscape noise, but we are down at the pond. And uh, here's one that I poured off camera, rigged up. So that's uh, one of my shad colors. Um, but that's not the ones that we're gonna throw. We're actually gonna throw these right here. So I went ahead and did some just kind of plain Jane bright chartreuse. And here is the injection version, okay? So I just kind of wanted to show everybody sort of like a little size comparison there. All right. So this is the hand pour, the new one on the side there. And that's the five inch version of it. So we're gonna rig these up. This one is swim bait blend. This one is tube blend. And we're just gonna rig them up, Texas rigged on this hook and try to get some action shot. All right, so how I've always rigged a jerk bait, I, I like to throw them uh, weightless. Now, of course, you know, you can put this on a jig head, you can put it on a weighted hook. Uh, I just kind of like to Texas rig them right out the front. And, uh, you know, the, the hook slot comes in handy here, of course. This is basically just an offset shank worm hook. And right up the bottom, or the very back of that slot, bring it out the top and skin hook it. So now I have a weightless jerk bait that I can basically throw through anything. All right, next up is the one that is poured in craw tube blend. So this is a little bit firmer. And then actually after we, uh, after we film with this one, we're gonna film with the injection version with the split tail, just so that you can kind of see any similarities and any differences. Again, this is rigged weightless. Okay, and last but not least, this is the uh, injection version with the more, um, you know, traditional fork tail, and this is also in craw tube blend. Okay, everybody, we are back in the fish cave, and uh, wow, that was fun. Just kind of throwing that bait, checking out the action. Um, super cool, and, and what I will say is that it gave me everything that I want from a soft plastic jerk bait. 
So, you know, way back in high school when I was throwing a lot of zoom flukes, I found that, you know, whenever I'd rig them weightless on a worm hook like that, I could really get that erratic walk the dog. They would kind of hop out of the water and then dive and swoon back and forth. That's exactly what this one does and what the injection version did. So there was really not a whole lot of discernible difference between the hand pour action and the injection action. And I'm very happy about that because that lets me know that it is consistently what it is supposed to be. Uh, now I will say, uh, no surprise here, I thought the action was a little bit better uh, with the uh, swim bait blend. You know, the softer your plastic is, you know, the more room or, or uh, the, the more pliable, I guess, uh, it can move more. Um, however, I really liked the crawl tube action as well. And, and really, if you were to just go ask 100 people on the street if they were different, they would probably say no. It's, I mean, very, very, very small uh, differences. So I think both will work just fine. It just depends on what you or your customers, if you sell baits, want. Do they want something softer or firmer that's going to be a little bit more durable? Um, I think either one works great. And um, yeah, super excited. Check out this mold, $39. Anything you can do with a two-piece aluminum swim bait mold, you can do in this mold. Uh, I hope I helped demonstrate that today. And uh, wow, just honored to, honored to be a part of this mold release. Definitely check it out, open port jerkbait mold. Uh, by the time you're watching this video, it's already live on uh, AI's website. Check it out, tell them I sent you and all that good stuff. And uh, man, we will see y'all in the next video.